for problem number 11, we're going to look at a bike that has a tire of 30 inches diameter. And we're right away, we're going to go ahead and find the circumference. So 30 inch diameter tire. So circumference is 2 pi r, or circumference is pi times the diameter. So our circumference in this case is 30 pi. So that's how far around this thing is going to go. So next thing we want to do is do some conversions. So I am given 29 miles per one hour, and I want to change that into inches per minute. And so I'm going to take miles first. So one mile is 5,280 feet. So the miles are going to cancel. And then one foot is 12 inches. So my feet cancel. So now I've got 29 times 5,280 times 12. But now I've got to take care of the hours. Okay, so I've got one hour is the same thing as 60 minutes. So one hour per minute is going to be divided by 60. So one hour is 60 minutes. So now my hours cancel out, and I've introduced inches per minute. Okay, so when I multiply all that out, I get 30,624. So that's what 29 times 5280 times 12 is divided by 60. Okay, so I want to know how many rotations there are. So that's going to be the easiest thing for me to answer first is how many rotations there are. So I'm going to divide this, and I'm going to divide it carefully, by 30 pi. Okay, so that's going to tell me how many rotations are in this number. And that is going to give me 324.93. Okay, from that information, I can find the angular speed just by multiplying by 2 pi. So this is how many revolutions I've got. So I'm going to take 324.93 times 2 pi, and that's going to give me an answer of 2041.6. So that is your radians per minute. Okay, so for the next one, number 12, we have a car is traveling two miles its tires make 2900 revolutions so i want to know what the radius is in inches so the first thing i should do is change miles into inches so i have two miles and one mile is 5,280 feet. And one foot is 12 inches. So that will give me 2 times 5280 times 12. Gives me 126,720. So I have 126,720 inches is what this thing is traveling. Okay, well remember that the circumference is 2 pi r, or the circumference is pi times the diameter. So I'm going to take this number divided by my 2900 revolutions times pi, which is going to take care of this pi. So in your calculator, make sure you put that in parentheses. So 126,720 divided by 2,900 pi is going to give me 13,909. But that's going to tell me the diameter, so I need to take half of that. So divide that by 2, and I get 6.95. Those are very small tires. Okay, so the next example that we've got 
is, move that focus a little bit, is I want the linear velocity in miles per hour. Sorry, my little document camera is getting old and tired. There we go. Linear velocity in miles per hour of the tip of a lawnmower blade traveling at 2100 revolutions per minute. That cuts a swath that is 28 inches wide. Okay, so what I have first is 28 pi is going to be my circumference. Okay, my circumference is 28 pi. I'm going to divide that by 5,280 times 12 because I'm changing it into miles. I, uh, so this is in inches. I'm changing this into miles. Okay, so using the same process that we used up here. Okay, so that's going to give me a very small number of 0 0.001 and so on. Okay, well, how many times is it doing that? It's doing it at 2100 revolutions. So I've got 2100 revolutions. So that multiplied together gives me 2.9154. Five, five actually. Okay, but remember that this is still in um, minutes. So we've got to multiply that by 60. And that's going to give us an answer of 174.93. Okay, so coming back up here, we had 28 inches. And then we had... 12 inches in one foot and 5,280 feet in one mile. So that's where that 5280 and that 12 came from. Okay, so that's your final answer for that one. All right, so for number 14, we have a car that runs over a nail. The car is going 58 miles per hour. The nail is lodged in the tire tread 13 inches from the center of the wheel. So we have the wheel, and the tip of the nail is 13 inches from the center. What is the angular velocity of the nail in radians per hour? Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is convert this, because we've gotten 13 inches. So I want to take 58 times how many inches do we have. So if this is 58 miles, then we have one mile is 5,280 feet. And then one foot is 12 inches. So I'm going to take 58 times 5,280 times 12. And that's going to give me 3,674,880. Okay, so that's how many inches that our nail is going, or that's how many inches that the tire at one single point is traveling. So from here, what are we going to do? Well, I do know that if this is 13 inches from the center, then that must mean it's 26 inches that direction, or the diameter is. So I'm going to divide this by 26 pi. And then I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to multiply that by 2 pi. Okay? So doing this part will tell us how many revolutions it makes. And doing this will change it into angular velocity. So we get a final answer of 282,683. Point zero eight radians per minute. And I hope that helps.